welcome to the next video so in this video we will solve another ktu problem uh, this was 2019 may problem asked for 12 marks this is from module 4 in module 4 uh, it is from the bending stress area okay so question is a simply supported beam of length 3 meter carries a point load of 12 kilo at the distance of 2 meter from the left support so this this is this is the, the diagram is given the cross section of the beam is shown in figure 4 figure 4b so this is the cross section uh, so it's, it's a hollow rectangle but not symmetrical uh, the cross section of the uh, de determine the bending stress at extreme fibers at section xx uh, taking moment of inertia about nodal axis of the section uh, section as 2.56 into 10 raised to 7 so moment of inertia is already given so calculating moment of inertia would have taken some time uh, but um, luckily that has given to us now you have to observe that uh, this is not symmetric so there is one mistake that students can make is or uh, suddenly they think that this is symmetric and assume the centroid to be at the at the uh, you know at symmetrically at center so it is not the case first you have to find the uh, centroid because the neutral axis of the beam will be at the centroid the second thing that you have to uh, remember is they are asking uh, to find extreme stresses in the section xx so this is the section at the center 1.5 meter that means at the center uh, what is the uh, moment we have to calculate okay so so what is given is uh, we will draw the load draw the uh, beam loading so simply supported so we have a load of 12 kilometer okay so this is at uh, 2 meters from this side and 1 meter from this side so let's say we will find the reactions first so let's say this is a this is b this is va and this is vb so we will find the reactions first so what you will do uh, we will find moment about this point so this is a hinge support um, it is not about hinge support uh, basically um, uh, this beam is not rotating rotating it is stable so that means it is in rotational equilibrium so the meaning of that is uh, about any point in this plane you can find moment uh, all the uh, moment of all the forces acting on the beam they should cancel each other okay so that means summation of moment about any point you can take so i'll take about a about a equal to zero now uh, we'll assume clockwise moments as positive so let's take uh, so we have va which is passing through the a so we don't have any moment so we have 12 kilonewton into 2 meters which is the moment due to this 12 kilonewton about this point it is clockwise so it's positive then we have vb times 3 meters it is anti-clockwise so it is negative so this equal to 0 so this means vb equal to so 12 into 24 divided by 3 so this means it is equal to 8 kilonewton okay uh, also we know uh, sum of all forces in vertical direction equal to 0 assuming up to be positive upward direction to be positive now what is the meaning of this the meaning of this is uh, this uh, beam is in equilibrium that means it is not accelerating in any direction it is stable so that means all the forces in vertical direction should cancel out to each other because it is not moving in the vertical direction so some of all forces in vertical direction we can uh, add and we can equate that to zero we are assuming upward direction is positive so that means va is there vb is there minus 12 equal to zero minus 12 because it is downward direction now va equal to 12 minus vb so that is something but 12 minus 8 equal to 4 kilometer so this is 8 kilonewton this is 4 kilometer sorry 4 kilometer okay uh, so we have found um, the reactions now what we have to do you have to find the reaction uh, moment at xx now xx is at 1.5 meters okay so to find the bending moment you have to uh, bending moment shear force you have to first cut the section so let's cut the section at xx so what you get is this so this is xx so here we will have a moment i will assume the positive moment to be like this and we have shear uh, so we have here va the value of va i will write here 4 kilo newton this is 3 meters So shear also we will assume some shear direction. Shear it is not uh, important. So 
So let's say this is A, this is B, and this is B dash, we'll call that as B dash, or we'll, we'll call it some other point, let's say O. Okay. So again, uh, since this beam is in rotational equilibrium, this section of the beam is also in rotational equilibrium. That means movement of all the forces acting on this section about any point in this plane will be equal to zero. We assume, um, we will take um, this as the point, so that we can avoid the shear. So this at the point. So that means all the moment about O equal to zero clockwise positive. So this gives me uh, 4 into 3, which is clockwise, so positive, minus M equal to zero. Sorry, 4 into, not 4 into 3, so I am sorry, this is not 3, this is 1.5 meters. 1.5 meters. Okay. So this also I will correct it here. I'm sorry. One point five equal to m. So this gives me m equal to m equal to four into one point five. So that is six kilonewton meter. Six kilonewton meter. So that is the moment that at the section. So we have found the section moment. Now once you find the moment, uh, you just have to find uh, stresses using bending equation. Bending equation. So what is bending equation? m by i equal to sigma upon y equal to e upon r. This is the bending equation. So this you can remember by mnemonics. May I see you Elizabeth Rani. So imagine that you are going to see Elizabeth Rani. So you are asking the doorman or somebody permission. So may I see you Elizabeth Rani or you are asking the Elizabeth Rani permission. May I see you s for sigma y e upon r. You should understand what is the meaning of this. Uh, so this uh, y so sigma is the stress and y is the uh, distance on the nodal axis. Uh, so first what we have to find is where is the nodal axis. The nodal axis will be at the centroid. So centroid calculation, calculation. This is to locate nodal axis, NA, I will write as nodal axis, okay. Uh, so this is a section, uh, so we can see uh, how we can find uh, the nodal axis. So we will find uh, centroid about this. Uh, so you can see that um, in this direction, about about vertical axis is symmetrical. So centroid will lie at the center in this line. Centroid will definitely lie be in the center this line. And horizontally, where will it it will be? Okay, so that is a question. So we have to find the centroid location. So this is the centroid. So let's say this is y bar. Y bar is the centroid location from the bottom. Uh, so how do you find this? Uh, so let's assume uh, the outer rectangle as area A1. A1 is 100 by 150. And inside rectangle is A2. So that is 50 by 75. Okay. So this is A2. This is A1. A1 is the outer rectangle. So A1 is this, A2 is this. Okay. Now we are actually su uh, subtracting A2 by A1. So we can say um, the, um, for centroid we can use the equation. So A1 a total area is A1 plus A2. Okay. So area into y bar should be equal to A1 y1 bar minus A2 y2 bar divided by so total area is actually not A1 plus A2, it is A1 minus A2 because I am subtracting the area. I am sorry. Okay, so this is A1 minus A2. So this gives me, uh, what is A1? 100 into 150. So this outer rectangle, this 100 into 150 is the area. The location of the centroid is 150 by 2. So that is 75 minus, what is the second area? 50 divided, uh, multiply 75. This rectangle's centroid is at um, 50 plus 75 by 2. 50 plus 75 by 2 divided by total area 100 times 150 minus 50 times 75. So we'll quickly calculate this value. So 100 times 150 times 75 minus 50 times 75 times 50 
थ्री प्लस सेवेंटी फाइव बाई टू डिवाइड बाय हंड्रेड इनटू वन फिफ्टी माइनस फिफ्टी इनटू सेवेंटी फाइव फिफ्टी टाइम्स सेवेंटी फाइव सो दिस इज गिविंग मी सेवेंटी पॉइंट एट थ्री थ्री सेवेंटी पॉइंट एट थ्री थ्री इज द सेंट्रोइड Seventy point eight three three is the centroid. Okay, so we have located the centroid. Uh, now the task should be easy for us. So I will I will draw the respective lines for drawing the stress diagram first. So this is a neutral axis. So we know that uh, above the neutral axis, when it is bending, it is sagging. So this is a simply supported beam, so it will bend like this. So top will be compression, bottom will be tension. So top of neutral axis will be compression. So this will be neutral axis. This is compression. Okay, and bottom will be tension. So this will be the stress distribution. Okay. Now, uh, in the bending equation, the y is this distance. This is y from this distance. So basically, if you want to find stress at let's say this point, this point. Okay. So what do you substitute uh, because of the moment m? If you want to find stress at that point, you substitute m upon i equal to sigma upon y. Substitute the value of y this distance here in this equation. M is the moment at that section. So the particular section that we are seeing, the moment is six kilonewton meter. I is the moment of inertia of the section about centroid. So when you do that, you will get the sigma at this end, this edge. But what they are asking, they are asking us to find stress at the extreme fibers. So extreme fibers means they are asking us to find stresses at this point. That means this is the extreme fiber, and this is another extreme fiber. Okay. So this distance from the neutral axis, I will denote by. So this is since it is compression, I will denote by y c. Okay, and this distance below I will denote by y t. Uh, generally, it is normal practice to consider what is above this uh, as negative, where compression is there, uh, assume y to be negative, and tension is there, y to be positive. So we we will not follow that, uh, since we will be writing compression tension separately. Okay, now let's find compressive stress or extreme fiber. Then we will first tension first. Extreme fiber, fiber. Tension. So for that we will use m upon i equal to sigma tension upon y t. So sigma tension equal to m upon i into y t. Okay. Now what is the value of y t? Mm -hmm. Y t is same as y bar. So we know y t's value is seventy point eight three three. Now what is the value of y c? Y c also we can find. It is nothing but one fifty minus seventy point eight three three. So we will do that. One fifty minus seventy point eight three three. Sorry. One fifty minus seventy point eight three three. So sixty. One fifty minus seventy point eight three three. Seventy nine point one six seven. Seventy nine point one six seven. Okay. So we will substitute the values now. What now? Uh, remember, this moment should be in kilonewton meter. So that means the moment is six. So the value should be six into ten raised to six kilonewton meter. Okay. Y T is seventy point eight three three, and value of I is given. About centroid is given. I suppose. Take moment of inertia about neutral axis. Two point five six into ten raised to seven. Two point five six into ten raised to seven. 2.56 into 10 to the power 7. So this I can cancel out. So this is 6 into 70.833 divided by 2.56 times 10. So what is the value of this? We'll just calculate this very fast. So 6 times 70.833 divided by 25.6. So this gives me 16.6 mpa. Sixteen point six 
in here. This is the stress in compression, extreme fiber tension. Now we will also calculate extreme fiber compression. So this means this value, this value is 16.6 MPa. 16.6 MPa. Now compression. Extreme fiber compression. So M upon I equal to I will call that sigma C upon Y C. So sigma C is M upon I into Y C. So this is nothing but again same 6 into 10 to the power 6 into what is Y C 79.167 divided by I is 2.56 into 10 to the power 7. So again I can cancel. So this gives me 6 into 79.167 divided by 25.6 so this gives me so again i can edit this this is 79.167 18.55 mpa 18.55 mpa 18.55 MP. 18.55 MP. So this is the stress distribution at the location. This is what they have asked. I hope the concepts are clear. Uh, important thing, uh, always remember. Uh, so remember that uh, these problems are very simple. Uh, only thing is you, you have to know how to use the bending equation and how to find uh, moment of inertia if it is not given and how to find centroid if it is not given. Okay. So I hope this is clear, uh, we will uh, solve another problem in the next video.